In this video, I am going to demonstrate some very basic animation with what's called an animated circle. Uh, so let's take a look at the driver first and uh, see how this works. Uh, I'm going to create an animated circle called a baseball. I'll tell the baseball to draw itself and I'll print out some statistics about the baseball. So let's run it and see what happens. I right, click main and run it. Looks like I have a object, the baseball, a blue baseball, on a yellow background and it just falls down diagonally. And the final coordinates looks like are 200, 200. So let's let's go inside the this animated circle class a little and see what's going on here. So here's my animated circle class. It has a two private instance variables x and y for the x and y coordinates of the circle. I have a constructor here that sets those two variables up to 70 and 70. We can change those later to play with it. I have a method called draw that draws it. Now inside the draw method, there are some references to a frame and a canvas which we saw in the previous video, um, but What's happening here is I have a loop that's actually changing the values of x's and y, the, the center of the circle, and constantly redrawing it. This try catch is something new, but it basically is going to delay it so I can change the speed of the animation. And the other kind of interesting thing here is I, I have a class magic canvas inside of a class. This is called an inner class. So notice I'm, I'm defining, not just using, but I'm also I'm defining a class inside of another class. Uh, which is common in animation type things, and then finally a two string. So uh, if we take a look at the draw method, this is what actually does most of the work here. Right, it looks like I have a loop and I have a counter, and I'm counting from 0 to 130, or 129 actually, and on every time I go through the loop, I'm incrementing x and y, and I'm repainting as I go. And just to see this actually happen, I'm going to say system.out.println and I encourage you to do this yourself to see what uh, is actually happening at different points of the program. Just print out things. Uh, I'll say redrawing the circle. Okay, so every time this goes to loop, I'll redraw the circle so we can see actually what's happening. And you know what I'll do? I'll actually add in here x. I'll print out the x and y coordinates, comma, y. So we can actually see the x and y coordinates change. Okay. So compile, I think I got it right there, close, compile that, and let's run it again. And as it ran, you can see the coordinates of the circle change. So it started there, 171, and all the way went up to 200. All right, what if I change the coordinates? Actually, let's change a couple of other things. Let's uh, go to this magic canvas, and let's set the color, not the yellow, let's go white. And I'll make this a, I don't know, let's go red. Will that work? And I'll change the starting position at to 50, 1525. See what happens there. Save it, compile it. The best way to figure out how this all works is just to change things and see how uh, it reacts. So it looks like I started at a different position and didn't get all the way down there. I ended at 180, 155. Um, so let's go back and change this counter a little bit and see what happens. Change this to uh, maybe 200. 200. And then I also, inside this magic canvas, I have the definition of what a baseball looks like, but I'll change the what I'm actually drawing. I'll tell Van Gogh to draw an oval of 80 and 40. So it looks like a football here. Compile it, run it. And I can see the football move down the screen. And it moved down a little bit further because I changed the for loop uh, coordinates um, in the animated circle, which I can change to an oval if I change the coordinates. So in this uh, little demo, I have, a, I have a driver, very basic. I'm just creating an, a circle, animated circle object, and telling it to draw itself. And all the work is done by the animated circle. Um, here, some basic class uh, uh, things here, some instance variables, a constructor, a draw method, which does most of the work. I'm defining a J frame and a canvas inside of um, this class, and then I have a two string that prints with coordinates. But the 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 uh, animation is actually caused by a loop here uh, that changes the counter from zero to 100. And let's just change one more thing here. I'll go. I'll change this to 50. See what the effect of that is before we wrap this up. Circle driver, run it, and you can see that it's a lot longer motion there. Um, so if you're trying to create a game with motion, you can have different delays in there, and you can actually change that delay every time you go through the loop to, to uh, get the feel of real motion using um, 
uh, acceleration due to gravity and things like that to make it look more realistic. So that's a simple example of a animated circle um, with uh, a loop and a draw method doing uh, the work there.